It's finally here! The Germany rework is finally here! Um, I mean, it has been here for a month already. Uh. Welcome to another video on this channel! Today, we are finally going to be playing as the one and only Germany in Kaiserreich. As Germany, we are going to throw these cringe democratic reforms out the window and establish a more conservative and more radical Germany. While we do that, we of course have to destroy the syndicalists and Russians. So let's head in. Alright, the German Empire in Kaiserreich. I've uh, avoided playing them because uh, I knew the rework was coming. So yeah, yeah. Uh, now we have a cool new rework Germany. So let's look at the national spirits we got. First we have March leads to April, um, you know, destroying our political power gain and, uh, you know, taking away stability. Great start. Then we have Victors of the Weltkrieg. We are not able to gain any Army XP, Naval XP or Air XP. Let's say that we don't really get any command power. Then we have Deutsches Weltreich, giving us surrender limit and a lot of trade deal opinion factor but taking away war support. Then we have Christmas Spike, which busts our economy. Surely this will last till the end of the game. There's like nothing gonna happen that's gonna, you know, ruin our economy. <laughs> right guys? Then we have Fruits of the Open Door, giving us some uh, economic bonuses from China. And lastly we are a member of Mittel Europa, which will come and later, as you can see, it becomes active in 1937. We start with Kabinett Dirksen or Merz Koalition. Of course, we have the man himself as our Reichskanzler. Uh, he's apparently the Kaiser's man. Uh, maybe the Kaiser should choose another man because he's taking away political power. And I don't like that. Anyway, we also have the Minister President of Prussia, which is currently separated from the Reichskanzler position. And the Minister President of Prussia is Sigrid von Rödern. And he gives us some small bonuses, I guess. Anyway, let's get to the elephant in the room, the new focus tree. It's not even everything. <laughs> Because, you know, we currently have the Schleicher path here, uh, which we're gonna avoid. Let's talk about the focus tree. Right here we have economic stuff and some Schleicher mechanics stuff that I'm gonna avoid. And some uh, Ruhrkampf stuff. Then we have our foreign policy focuses. That's the only branch we can do right now, actually. Right here we have Middle Europa focuses. We either puppet everyone or not. Then right here would be our political paths, which currently just chose the Schleicher path. Down here we have our wartime focuses. Then we have the after war focuses with even more political paths, depending on which political path we chose at the beginning. Then right here we have the military stuff, uh, which is... Uh, a lot. Too much in my opinion. I'm never gonna do any of these focus. Anyway, that's uh, the everything for now in the focus tree. And like I said, we can only do this one. So yeah, let's do Master of the World. We start with a huge army and we're gonna just send them right there. Then we're gonna build some civilian factories right here and then just pump out the military factories right there. And this right here will be our starting research and this will be our starting production. Um, yeah, I'm gonna build planes, the templates we start with and I'm gonna also finish all these ships and then just build convoys. And right here I'm gonna focus on artillery and guns and later on add more military factories when, you know, these are finished. So for the agency I'm gonna start with form a department and then spam out passive defense so the syndicalists don't get any intelligence on my country. And uh, right here we're gonna set some convoys. But other than that, uh, that's basically everything for now, so we can begin. Well, the Reichstagswahlen of 1936 will soon happen. Let's play as the Deutsche Vaterlandspartei. And now we have uh, the uh, Reichstag election mechanic, where we can, uh, you know, give some more seats to the candidates we like. So let's uh, select this one, select this one, and select this one. So first I'm gonna do Ostwall, and after that Eastern Railway plan, do the second expedition to China, and then, you know, do either one of these impasse in the Reichstag. Uh, that sucks. Let's hope Monday brings good news. Uh, bad news? Monday did not bring good news. Well, uh, like Monday, mein Gott. Um, goodbye, economic buff. And hello, economic destruction. But yeah, uh, if you thought this is already bad, well, it's gonna get a lot worse. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, if I were in his position, I may also resign, honestly. Um, perhaps Rödern can restore the Grand Coalition. Yeah, now we have another Kaiser man. Uh, looks like some uh, Chinese war is happening. Let's get involved. Well, uh, March Coalition falls again. Sucks for them, I guess. The second expedition to China. Well, looks like our army has arrived in China. And looks like they're abandoning their capital. Uh, idiots. I hate when the AI does that. Well, looks like the Schwarz-Weiß-Rot Coalition has formed, all for renewing the German spirit. Well, uh, nice. And uh, I changed my mind, I'm not doing one of these, I'm doing this one. Uh, because they will later get eaten up by Russia. But I will keep the 
a military experience game. So take it now. Also, our China expedition is looking uh, good. Economic free fall ceases. We shall restore the miracle of the golden 20s. This now begins our great card game. Who the hell came up with that? <laughs> anyway, we now have to play against stagnation and economic decline with our cars that boost investment and stability. We have to have more stability and investments to increase our economic health, which is currently uh, minus 10. Uh, I don't think that's good. Anyway, we can immediately begin by doing this one. And uh, maybe, maybe do this one. And then, oh, this is boosted. Let's do this one. And oh, we're already enough. So <laughs> that's great. Well, because uh, the parties that our Kaiser likes did not get a majority, uh, he appointed uh, his own Reichskanzler. Welcome, Reichskanzler Schleicher. This now starts Kabinett Schleicher. And we get him as a second in command. And he gives political power. So he's better than the Kaiser man's. Anyway, now we now have a positive political power again. So let's uh, sell Polish holdings. Matters of national stability. This is rather unorthodox. He now has uh, some stuff to deal with, but uh, let's ignore that because then we can, um, you know, get a majority and uh, vote him out. So let's ignore the Schleicher stuff here and uh, do Draft Plan Tarnov Bade. Choosing the Vice Chancellor. Let's freeze the Demokratische Union. We don't want them to get more coalitions. Russia and the Reichskanzler. Uh, Trust Röden. He is a political veteran. The Forest Brothers Uprising. Let's grant them limited support. Loot my. We can't let cynicalism happen here. Uh, let's see. This is not gonna really... Uh, yeah, that's not problematic. After, you know, this, let's do massive public works so we can get the reform card that we need. Leadership changes in the center. Who will lead the Catholic juggernaut next? Well, it looks like there are problems in the Zentrum Partei. Ewald von Kleist Schmenzen attacks Fleischer. Easy for him to attack from his comfy Stetten office. This means that the DKP is now uh, in our coalition, which means... I find this stupid that you... Like, there's a chance for the agrarian parties to join your coalition while they have no seats. Like, why would we even make the effort to, you know, get a party that has no seats? I kinda hate this, to be honest. Uh, let's flag some uh, parties from these guys. And of course, with my luck, I got the agrarians. <laughs> the Zentrum Party Conference nominates Stegerwald. Stegerwald offers to negotiate and uh, the Rodan cabinet falls. Now we get uh, this guy, I guess. So now you might say, oh, well, uh, let's take this because, you know, it says, oh, he has to drop his candidacy. Then we get uh, the Zentrum Aligned Chairman for the Conservative Revolution. The problem with that, uh, it locks the focus for the DVLP. I don't want it. So let's take the one where nobody aligns the Zentrum. I almost forgot about that one. That would have been stupid. Uh, new cards and uh, our great reform card. That's cool. Let's get this and this and then place this and that should be enough. A compromised chairmanship. How long can such a course last? General strike in Ruhr. Can't they see we are suffering enough already? Uh, yeah, let's ignore that for now. Ah, great. We got the center for the Schwarz-Weiß Rot. Hope the next party will be uh, a one that will get us enough seats. If we don't get enough seats, then I'm gonna do the... the, the let, let this escalate. Protests in Ukraine. Ensure that he gets everything he needs. Well, our word of no confidence is gonna start in 30 days. Uh, then I'm just gonna do one thing here. But, uh, not make this escalate. Hope looks like a uh, cabinet fill again in Prussia. Uh, as you can see, we are gonna get some investment stability through our form, which is great. But uh, we also should maybe put some other stuff in here. We don't we don't want to, you know, um, fail. Uh, finally, Dave, the national spirit I was waiting for. Collapsing morale. Guys, um, bad news. Someone thought the declaring independence button would be uh, fun to use right now. So yeah, uh, we have to crush some uh, breakaway state now. Schleicher removed in vote of no confidence. What will become of the golden constitution? And now we can start our conservative revolution. Let us begin. And now we actually have our thing finger and uh, they, they still are in our coalition. Apparently, whatever. Well, whatever, I guess. But before we begin this, uh, we can't actually, but uh, if we could, before we would begin this, let's escalate the war comp suppression. Let's try and negotiate with them. I wonder of how they actually accepted that. I mean, I did lose this now, which kind of disgusts me, but whatever. Well, whatever. You know, it's like I kind of don't want to spend 100 political power on, you know, attacking them. Hugenberg demands the economic office. Uh, nope. 
go away. Well, while we have to wait for the economic health to get down, let's uh, do some focuses right here. And let's also end the Ruhr Kampf. And the state of emergency in the Rhineland. Boom. Peace in the Ruhr. We will have to make labor reforms in the future. And you now uh, you have dealt with this problem. Uh, we still have other problems. Just had to wait for this to trick down. And now we can do the Conservative Revolution. Ah, this time I saw it. I oftentimes oversee the Spanish Civil War happening, so good that I saw it this time. Alright, let's begin our cool new bit of diplomatic branch by doing National Social Principle. Oh, the rift between the DFLP is growing. That's not good. Let's hold a peace summit. Not the Middle Europa mechanic finally activated. Let's get some uh, arms industry. And uh, uprising in Ukraine has been crushed. Good to hear. A change, of course, on the countryside. But who could fulfill that role? And after that, let's do organic statehood to get down to vanquished decadent democracy to get more political power. Ungberg's protest. Uh, fine, we will grant him some amendments. The war on socialism. Uh, order Hugenberg faction to cool down their enthusiasm. Balan Skach. Choose Schlange, the voice of the common man. Hans Schlange Schöningen. Let's do two so that we don't get any negative modifiers anymore and then just wait with these. The slap across the face. We will reprimand the newspaper. And let's maybe also get some uh, stuff right here that we can uh, do something if the other faction gets too strong. Uh, well, let's grant him some amendments. Yeah, I'm gonna move out of Spain now. I, I don't see it anymore, but at least, you know, they, these guys are not winning. So that, that's all that that's all that matters, honestly. Oh, we can hold another peace summit and uh, yeah, also do that. That was a, that was a fast chain collapse. And now that we complete the six focuses from our political branch here, we can now do restore the privy civil cabinet. And after that, get down there, 10 focuses, and then lastly this, which will take 14 focuses. And uh, you have to be in balance the entire time right here. The closer you get to zero, the closer the DKB gets dominant. The closer you get to 100, the uh, default gets dominant. Uh, and I don't want to take uh, each of one of these things here. I just want to get this well, uh, anti-social democratic stuff. I'm gonna wait till we get our Hugenberg disaster. And now uh, we do more focuses, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna give him even more stuff. The growth of Hugenberg's influence in the regions. This seems worrying. The unified phalanx of the right tell Hugenberg that his proposal is nonsense. Internal breakdown of the DVLP. Oh no. And now we have problems, I guess. Uh, due to some focuses, we can easily um, take away influence from our row. Let's also reduce party rift, decrease its own thing again, and not increase any problems here. Let's get the, the um, uh, uh, this guy, and this will set this back to the balance. Alien Civil War reassumes. Gotta do, we do help. We do have to help, and we can take another. Focus here in the middle. Oh, and the outcome will be that uh, Hugenberg will be marginalized and our uh, rift between the factions is 0%. I'm, uh, this time I'm a good politician. Uh, maybe. Defeat of the reactionary faction. That's the last we will see of him. Let's get the army reformer as our chief of army. Uh, I have some cool news, guys. We are finishing Black Monday while having under 150% debt. Without having taken any of the uh, debt reduction focuses. Cool, right? Uh, so, before I'm gonna continue anything here, uh, let's first uh, maybe reform our army. Black Monday turn completed and the economy recovers. Long live the unsurpassed empire. I'm gonna recall the volunteers now because they pushed in. Okay, fine. I still not building tanks. That's because I still have to research the stuff I want for the tanks. Uh, let's... So yeah, do this. Increase mobilization of the economy. Let's get rid of social democratic support. Slowly but sure. Meddling in Poland. Make sure they win. Uh, before I click this, let's click another thing here. Uh, well, this uh, kind of sucks now. Uh, and that's gonna be all the anti-socialist campaigns. Of, well, after adept Weltkrieg experience, the uh, victors of the Weltkrieg national spirit will be gone. And after that, I will, be, uh, will take this. Because, you know, uh, I want to get the 50 army experience and not have it reduced by our uh, army experience gain malice and then let's maybe get some uh, war tension decreased apparently there's another strike uh, going to happen but yeah let's say um, let's say a uh, uh, general walk with his army in there like yeah couldn't stop him sorry guys 
Goodbye, SPD. All right, let's uh, okay, get partial mobilization. Pricing in Poland. Uh, send in the reinforcements. This rebel will not overthrow a whole solar. The Reichspakt moves into Poland. Yet another Polish uprising crushed. And let's now finish our focuses down here. And let's begin the construction of the uh, Ost Wall. An appeal against escalations. Arrange the conference. The Copenhagen conference. Let's accept. More time for me. Well, and now we can finally do the sum. Here we go. Let's get the mobile warfare expert and start doing our mobile warfare doctrine now. Uh, updated my tank division and should also put it in there then. And the medium tank template that I have right now is this. If you want to copy me, do that at your own risk. Wow, I didn't have to do anything for the syndicalists to lose. Man, I'm so good at this game. I have not once looked at America, by the way. And finally, it is done. Well, we need more manpower. Let's also expand our infantry template. I should probably end the Italian Civil War. So let's try and do that. Well, uh, yep, this is about to start, but it is at least gone now. Uh, so right here, I just assembled the just-in-case army. Uh, just in case someone decides to revolt. And uh, the default piece is dominant, by the way, if you were wondering. I did manage to uh, do that. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, uh, they're they're going to declare war now. And uh, let's say I have some uh, planes ready. These are just the beginning planes, by the way. I, I'm not doing any template until I create plane stuff. And um, yeah, let's say the Russians are not really going to push in here. I, I had to build something, okay? Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, call everyone in into the war. Let's also block off the parts of the sea here so that my convoys don't think it's a good idea to go through the English Channel. Yeah, let's begin. Will they immediately attack me? Yes, they will or are... Nope, they are being attacked by the Belgian army. Okay, I have my tanks here trying to push into here. And we have our first encirclement of the war. Let's kill these French and British troops. And they're gone. <laughs> Goodbye. But that's gonna be bad for them. Uh, we are also close to Paris already. <laughs> it's so easy to push up north here with the tanks, man. Now we are getting close to forests. I hate forests. Uh, well, that might be a big problem for the French army now. <laughs> yeah, I love just going around. <laughs> yeah, uh, you thought Dunkirk was bad. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet, kid. Russia, well, Russia finally, you know, did something. But, you know, they're not gonna push into my level 8 fort in the wall here. Yeah, that's gonna be it for the French army here. Uh, you can tell them a last goodbye. Yeah, there they go. Uh, I guess I can battle plan now. But I, uh, before that, uh, I smell another encirclement. Yep, uh, even more troops encircled now. <laughs> And that's gonna be those guys gone now. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't think they're recovering from that one. But someone else thinks it's fun to join now. But that's um <laughs> they these troops encircled now. They have no way to cross this uh, lake here. Hey guys, look what happened. Oh my god, who could have predicted that? Uh, I mean, <laughs> what am I going to do now? They broke away, oh my god. I, they always do that. You know, just might 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 have been the wrong choice to make here. Seeing how, um, you know, your country is gone now, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe should, you know, uh, weigh your options next time. Whatever, I can send these to Ukraine and hopefully not get them destroyed before I arrive with my main army. Ah, my good friend delegation cities joined us. They will immediately die to Japan, probably. Uh, well, uh, say goodbye to your capital. That's punishment for your disobedience. Paris fell now and uh, we're pushing them across the river now. Hopefully. Yeah, like I said. Uh, goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Did I defeat them before the Entente even, like, did anything? Are they gonna do anything? Let's reset the arms a bit. I switched uh, this guy with this guy out. Because I want to, to use this, this army to invade Britain. The rest is gonna go to the Eastern Front and uh, they are gonna have fun in Russia. Uh, well, uh, I, the Russians pushed in from Crimea because um, someone can't guard one single tile, apparently. They maybe sent too much troops into here. Um, <laughs> well, uh, goodbye. <laughs> uh, completely overrun. That's, uh, well, by the way, that's the casualties of the French. Didn't show that one. And, yep, uh, the Russians already overtook them. <laughs> Are we gonna, like, join or something? Guys, wanna, like... Join, maybe? Well, I actually wanted to encircle. 
troops that were stationed in Dover, but um, they failed their naval invasion and now moved up there. So, yeah. Time to land on British soil. No, maybe like do a conference with them. That would be cool, but apparently not. Apparently, we they have better be better problems, I guess. Why are they not declaring war? This is weird. Ah, that, I I was just flaming them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm already controlling all of France and uh, I'm about to control all of Britain. Uh, if they don't accept my demands, they're stupid. Yes, let us meet. We'll help them however we can. Alright, if they don't renounce their claim on us as Lorraine, the, I ain't gonna accept that, man. All the other things, I don't care. Yeah, this is the only thing they have. They did it. They fucking did it. Mad lads actually did it. Well, let us proceed to the treaty. The Rice Pact and the Entente will cooperate. Just in time for them to die. Uh, now we just have to kill the Russians. Ah, Japan doesn't exist. Don't worry about them. They will be easily dealt with. I was wondering why I still have this. Um, I have claim on that. The death of Wilhelm II. The Kaiser is dead. Long live Kaiser Wilhelm III. Uh, now we got this guy. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I just battle plan by the way. I don't I don't want a micro. These are the casualties. Uh, I didn't even suffer that much with my battle plan here. Let's get to the elephant in the room here, shall we? That does not look too great for Russia, does it? There they go. Uh, I'm gonna accept. Oh, well, China revolted. Have fun, Japan. Uh, they're probably gonna crush them. <laughs> Russia accepts our troops. Uh, finally. Uh, now we have big Ruthenia and big Ukraine. Victory in Europe. End of the Second Weltkrieg in Europe. Heil dir im Siegerkranz. Let us construct victory arches. Let's form the National People's Union. Formation of the DNVB. Three hurrahs to the National People's Union. Now we have the moderates, the rights and the radicals. Anyway, let's uh, ban the Social Democratic Party. We don't need them anymore. Second anti-socialist law. The Marxists and syndicalists will never threaten us again. Uh, goodbye. Proclaim death of German syndicalism. Alright, um, question. Why does why do they not claim it? And secondly, why the fuck does Middle Africa claim it? <laughs> what? Oh, they gave it to me. Oh my fucking god! I just noticed what the fuck. Either you you know take everything or you don't. Just because I landed, they just pieced out probably, and they had this under their control. And now established Bismarck Jugend. Well, but yeah, I don't think there's gonna change anything with those elections. Bismarck Jugend. Or Germany's revival. Speaking of revival, uh, revival of the German soul. The national revival. And it will last for centuries. Uh, this should be the end of Japan now. And Tokyo falls now. Will it be enough? Yep. Yeah, that's the blast and me. Uh, Japan's gone. They're still stealing my equipment. And let's kill the rest. Out there. There, there, there's, there's Japan. With their uh, occupation focus tree. Yeah, uh, poor Korea. Yeah, that's gonna be this now, and... <laughs> after... After that, we'll finally be at peace. We did it. And let's finally do the Permanent Enabling Act. Welp, now no one will be able to oppose our reforms in the future. Let's now uh, do something else that I uh, already started doing. Average... Kaiser H national spirits. Why <laughs> so fucking many men? <laughs> oh my god. A quiet moment. Alles ist verschwunden. Was mir leid und lieb. Hab kein Glück gefunden. And now let's do the last focus of this video. Officialize secession of sovereignty. Okay, uh, just the Austrians and the Ottomans refuse. Was it right? Yeah. <laughs> but France accepts. <laughs> I thought you were really the ones that gonna refuse that, but apparently not. Oh, now we have um, a lot of puppets. But before I go, uh, I will uh, fix some borders real quick. Alright, uh, just uh, yeah, they took these Belgium states and um, gave them whatever this was up there. And uh, Poland got Krakow because I hate how this looks when they just give this to Ukraine. Anyway. Uh, I, you know, there's still, you know, this stuff here, but it's more or less if you lose, like, territory. But I mean, I got some more stone here. You are still, you still alive. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing anyway. Uh, I'm now gonna end though, because I did everything I wanted to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And please, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And see you next time. Auf Wiedersehen.